Hey, what's going on, you guys? See Lowe's, Lowe's, Carlitos, whatever y'all want to call me. And we are here playing some Assassin's Creed. And I'm not too quite sure where we have to go. But I'm pretty sure... Um, oh, what? Is this where I have to go? Main mission. Mr. Wopo, I presume. Okay. Am I going to have to swim out there? Or what am I going to have to do? Because this is crazy. Um, let's just get going. We'll see when we get there. Because I don't know what the hell we're supposed to be doing, but... <clears throat> yeah, but this game is really badass. I have, I'm having a lot of fun playing this. But, you know, um, let's just keep going. I don't even know how far this place is. Okay. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going the right way. It's all the way out here. Shut up. Don't be talking to me. What is this, a sword? Nah, I'm cool. I thought this was supposed to be like water or something. Sequence number two. Mr. Wapo, I presume. Start mission. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Okay. Thank you. Ese es el hombre? Reach the terrace. ¿Cómo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me Shut up, bro. Cállate. El gobernador tiene... Just to let you guys know, I, I understand what they're saying. I'm pretty sure some of you do too. But there's some people that don't know Spanish, so for the ones that you don't know, you know, they're just saying that they don't like, you know, strangers to their lands. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are... I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> okay, used to open the weapon. I once a man who carried nine on his person. They were a boom in battle, but hindered his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. Kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, and not the opposite. Press to shoot the highlighted target with your pistol. I have a friend in England you may like to meet, Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. Okay. Nice, nice. Gotta go t talk to the host. Oh, right here. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, 
damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh -huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. Is a souvenir. <laughs> oh shit! He just ended up getting some blades on his arms. Custom, I. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your? Techniques. Well, uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh... show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose. Just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? Spirit? Secrecy. <laughs> the advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. Uh, what? Yeah, blind corner. Let's go around this way. <clears throat> God blind me. That's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty. Despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Climbing allows you to perform an air assassination. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I got this. <laughs> oh! -ho. Magnifique! Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Of course there is. such a powerful strike. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I passed the test. I'm right here, dude. Come on. Or I gotta talk to you first. Oh, okay. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave. Can I kill a chicken? At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she uh, here in Havana? I trust she's well. Man, these dudes talk know. a lot. I, I don't know if you guys are really interested in hearing all this, but if you guys are, just be just be sure to let me know. But we managed it. So, I mean, they just talk so much. I don't know if I should be talking over this, or you guys just want to hear what they're saying. Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? 
Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Oh, snap. I don't know what's going on here, but... It looks strange to me. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this the Observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every <laughs> still this guy too? on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to <laughs> have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery. Only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do it <laughs> I pickpocket all three of them. <laughs> we will soon. For it, yeah. it is the one man who does, a man named Robert. I had to do something That's else. I just, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. It's been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? How do I... Confident he is. How do I check? Which way? Which way do I go? Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Oh, wow. That was a fairly simple mission. It was real easy. Okay, so Mr. Walpole, I presume? That is, you know. This mission, and uh, let's continue. We'll see what happens. Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. All right. Thanks a lot, bro. All right. So that was it, you guys. Catch and loot the courier. The courier. Is it this this skull one right here or what? Who is it? Is it this skull? It's over here.
Oh, this is a side mission. Let's cancel this. Okay, okay, I see. There's side missions and other things on here. Okay, you guys. So, this is it. And, um, yeah, you guys. So, I'll be catching you guys on the next video. So, this is it for this one. And, uh, yeah, so. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, my noobs. Yeah, yeah.